Tired of wimpy trenchers that struggle with tough seabed? Buckle up because the high track is here to crush the competition. It is a track trencher with a four track undercarriage that allows it to adapt to various seabed soil conditions. The four track undercarriage allows the vehicle to ascend slopes with a maximum gradient of 20 degrees. The high track has been successfully tested and exhibited at IHC's Port of Time facility in South Shields, where a subsea like terrain was constructed. Results indicate that the high track trencher is able to meet all of the working criteria. There is a new king of the underwater trenches. Say hello to the Buscalis Subsea Trenchformer. It is a multi-purpose trencher developed by VBMS and Buscalis for the installation of power cables in intertidal areas and shallow and deep water. A ship is used to deploy it underwater. Its tracked undercarriage enables it to run on the seabed with low ground pressure. This makes it perfect for a wide range of soils and cable types. Depending on the soil conditions, the subsea trenchformer is fitted with either a jet sword, chain cutter, or disc cutter. It can simultaneously create a trench and lay cable. Its built-in depressor ensures the cable is buried at the required depth. For safety and control, profiling and obstacle avoidance sonars, pan and tilt color cameras, transponders, and temperature sensors have been installed. Forget the days of specialized trenchers for every terrain. The Ausbit T1 is here to break the mold. This trenching system can work both subsea and onshore. It comes standard with a wheel cutter that creates a 390mm wide and 1.3m deep trench. However, the wheel cutter can be replaced with a jetting sword, particularly for subsea use. It simultaneously lays cables while trenching. A depressor unit has been mounted on its rear for the speedy burial of the trench. The Osbit T1 is an ideal solution for flow lines, pipeline burial, umbilicals, and power cables on the beach, in the surf, and offshore. Now you are looking at the world's first deep sea mineral extraction vehicle. It is a 300T machine designed to recover minerals from the sea. The machine is controlled remotely from the ship's control room via an umbilical. Its giant bulk cutter grinds up the seafloor with each pass. The collector then vacuums up material from the piles created by the bulk cutter, which is subsequently delivered by riser pipe to the production support vessel at the surface where it is dehydrated. The mineral deposit has an average depth of 1,600 meters below the mean sea level.
The Merlin WR200 from IKM Subsea is a remotely operated vehicle designed for exploring deep waters. It can operate 3,000 meters deep in seawater. State-of-the-art components, such as top-notch cameras, lights, and sensors, have been installed for unrivaled precision. Unlike standard ROV, the Merlin WR200 has AC electrical propulsion based on frequency inverters that, in combination with an open, integrated, buoyancy structural frame, enable it to move through strong ocean currents. This is Rotec Group TRS-1. LD. This system for jet trenching was designed for shallow water. Its water jet is highly potent and very controllable, allowing it to create consistent trench profiles with precision. It can operate at depths between 1 and 300 meters with a jet pressure of 0 to 90 kPa and a velocity of 0 to 14 meters per second. Additional high pressure jets enable the TRS-1 LD to trench in soils with a maximum pressure of 200 kPa. It can be used for a variety of tasks, such as cable and pipeline trenching, free span and sand wave clearing, rock dump and drill cuttings, disposal harbor clearance, and subsea construction foundation access. You are looking at the construction of Leki Port, which is located in Nigeria. Royal Boscalis, with its cutting-edge technologies and equipment, constructed a 700-meter-long sandbar breakwater by using natural sand flow. The sandbar breakwater concept is based on the use of natural accretion for port protection. It is expected that sand will accumulate against the breakwater due to longshore sediment transport. This natural accumulation reduces the need for hard building materials, saves time, and minimizes the environmental impact. The trailing suction hopper dredgers were used to dredge sand material at a nearby offshore area and to transport this to the reclamation location. This is Perry XT, Forum Energy Technologies, a global oil and gas well drilling company, has introduced this lineup of trencher vehicles. It includes a variety of solutions, including cutting, jetting, and burying ROVs with crawling undercarriage or floating ability. These are designed to meet the stringent trenching requirements of both strong soils and deep flow line burial protection over extensive distances. These vehicles can work in free fly, skid based trenching, and surveying modes. They have already buried many of the subsea pipelines and cables worldwide. This is the SCAR seabed system from Ocean Engineering. It was designed for route preparation prior to the burial of subsea cables, pipelines, and umbilicals. The machine can operate in particularly harsh seabed conditions. Depending on the soil conditions, it can excavate trenches ranging from 4.6 feet to 6.5 feet in a single pass and can be significantly pulled with a towing force. It also offers significant benefits for extensive route lengths, where trench depth requirements exceed the single pass capabilities of smaller plows. The UT-1 Ultra Trencher is the world's biggest subsea robot with 60 tons of weight and a $10 million price tag. It is designed to bury large diameter oil and gas pipelines laid on the ocean floor. 
The machine can move at a speed of two to three knots under the sea and can trench pipelines with a one meter diameter in deep waters of up to 1,500 meters. It has propellers that make sure it lands over the desired site. Then, it uses a pair of jet swords to inject high pressure water to fluidize the surface for laying cable. Burying the pipelines protects them from fishing, shipwrecks, and natural currents.